Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are in the garage here. I'm going to do a short video for you on some of the new equipment that we got. New, new to me, it's, there's I guess two new pieces, but the rest of it is used. So uh, this all has to do with the snow clearing, commercial snow clearing contract that we landed for uh, this this winter season. So. Uh, for those of you that regularly watch, you're aware of that. If not, uh, we landed a contract for the season, and it was a pretty big blessing for us. It was a terrible year, as I'm sure it was for a lot of other farmers, you guys out there. Um, just the weather was absolutely miserable, and uh, of course, income was down this year. So even though we had to spend some money to make some money, uh, right now we're still looking pretty good. So. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we got for this contract and uh, without further ado here is the first uh, big piece we'll see if we can get it in here oops sorry there we go gotta love the GoPro so this is our new dump truck uh, this is a gas it's the six liter gas it's a Chevy 3500 dump four-wheel drive of course and it came with this Fisher plow I'm not sure how old the Fisher plow is it's a few years old there's not much paint wore off it's a pretty cool plow uh, it, it's an XLS they call it so basically you can see on the edge there there's there's two wings and the plow will go from 8 foot wide to 10 foot wide hydraulically or you can put it in what they call a scoop mode which the wing comes out and comes at an angle I think it's almost 45 degrees so when you're doing a big parking lot like we have to do it allows you to clean it up a lot more efficiently because you're not as you're pushing you're not losing a bunch of snow out the side of the blade constantly over a long distance so it's actually a pretty cool plow uh, i'm very happy to have it and i am a huge fan of fisher plows i really don't like to run anything else and the reason why um, is because if you're not familiar with fisher plows you can see a little hinge pin here uh, and there's your springs so fisher has what's called the trip edge so if you bump something with the plow like a manhole cover, if anybody's seen that video about what happened to me, uh, what happens is instead of the whole plow, the big plow blade kind of swinging forward and slamming back with the springs, it's just the edge that trips. Um, so it's a lot less violent. Uh, it's easier on the truck. It's easier on the plow. It's easier on the operator. So that's one of the big things I like about the Fisher plows. Uh, I have run them in the past. Um, we used to do snow plowing years ago and kind of got out of it um, because there wasn't a lot of money in residential stuff and this year we only got back in because of the commercial contract the pay is uh, the scale is so much different than residential stuff so anyway so that's that here's our truck uh, that's my plow light on top it does have a steel box on it it's a Christ steel box which is a, a nice box it pretty much is just um, uh, vinyl interior, which I really like, super easy to clean, and uh, a pretty, pretty simple truck that is not actually a touch screen. It does light up, but it's not a touch screen, thank goodness, because I'm not a huge fan of those things. Um, of course, we have our plow control and our spreader control and everything in here. The truck itself has about 32,000 miles on it. Super clean truck. Um, from the uh, Carfax report on it that I looked at before I bought it, uh, it said on there that the original selling dealer had put an undercoating on the truck before it left and was delivered to the first uh, customer, the first owner, I'm the second owner. And uh, you can tell underneath here, I mean, it's gonna be dark for you guys, but this is all undercoated here. Um, there's no rust, they did up underneath the box here. There is really no rust on the frame. For an almost four-year-old truck, uh, you'd always see like a little bit of surface rust here and there, and you can tell that that was not recently done, and it's not a paint job. Uh, it, it was definitely an undercoating, so that is a bonus. Another bonus to this truck was the fact that it never had a plow on it. Uh, it came from a paving uh, gentleman that did paving, and I think he upgraded to a bigger truck, but the plow was not on the truck when I picked it out. The plow was actually on a different truck that the dealership had 
and I told him I was looking for a plow truck and I wanted a gas. I did not want the diesel because this is new enough that it would have the emissions on it and I just got rid of a truck with emissions. So they offered to move this plow uh, to this truck for me. So it's never plowed um, or cindered, you know, really that I'm aware of, but usually you can tell when stuff's had a plow on it before. I actually saw them drilling the holes and stuff, so I know it didn't have a plow on it before. So that's a huge bonus for me too. So um, here is one of our spreaders. This is um, Salt Dog Buyers. Um, that was a used spreader that we got. So far it's been working pretty good. Um, no huge issues with it. You know, uh, it's probably not the company that I would purchase if I was gonna buy a brand new one at least right now because to me they're kind of a middle of the road company but we'll see how it lasts um there's a possibility that if it does a good job then you know if we need another one we'll buy a new one uh, i just don't know a lot about the company so um but to me i think they were kind of a middle of the road manufacturer you know kind of keep the price down but it has a nice cover on the top and one of the other cool things about the spreader is the actual spinner spreader part there's two pins, one on each side, and some wiring. You can pop this piece off, and then if you need to tow something, you can tow something without having to take this huge uh, spreader out. You just pop that little piece off. You can put it in the cab with you. So, so that's pretty cool. I got some spare extra stuff in there in case the, the spreader runs out. Um, for uh, my pickup, this is just sort of a backup, or you got to do like a light salting job. This is brand new Fisher uh, tailgate spreader. Um, I've had one of those in the past and they work really well. Just nice simple thing for the pickup, uh, not too heavy. So the other new piece that we have is this Fisher plow here. This is, uh, I believe it's eight and a half wide. It's a V plow as you can tell, stainless steel. Um, Cool thing about the V plows, obviously, if you're opening up driveways, you know, you can put it in that V and it'll push the snow away a lot easier. Uh, one of the main reasons that I bought this was because it also has kind of a um, scoop mode to it where uh, the, these two wings will actually come forward and the V will be facing forward instead of backwards. And again, it'll allow you to clean up and almost scoop the snow across the parking lot instead of losing it all out the sides so um so yeah uh there's a couple other things to show you that aren't here yet uh that's just a quick video of some of the plow stuff we have for this season it's been tough so i did want to throw a quick spot in um for the company that sold me the truck there is their name and information uh they are in pennsylvania i think they're down close to the Allentown area, if you're familiar with like Dorney Park or whatever in Pennsylvania, uh, they are very close to there. So there is their information. Um, you know, I'm not getting paid to throw them a spot in this video. Um, I don't even know that they watch YouTube. I did not tell them that I had a channel or anything, but I just wanted to do that because um, when you stumble across a company that is really um, nice uh, to work with and honest, you kind of want to give them some props. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, you know, I shopped for a truck uh, for this contract for over two weeks and I dealt with a lot of um, auto dealerships. Um, all the trucks were used. Some of them were actual dealerships for companies and some of them were just your regular sort of used car dealerships that weren't affiliated with any particular brand um, but I just had so many bad experiences with companies I probably talked to eight or ten different dealerships and um, I would say that 70 percent of the people I talked to um, they either didn't want to deal on the truck they were kind of just snooty about it or one truck I drove all the way to New Jersey to look at, I was gonna buy it, and it was just very misrepresentative, uh, misrepresented for what it was. There was a ton of stuff wrong with it. A lot of the stuff was super obvious that 
even if you weren't a mechanic, you should have been able to tell like a big chip in the windshield right on the driver's side. The first thing I noticed when I sat in the truck. Um, so I'm not going to name any of the bad people, uh, but I wasted a lot of time and talked to a lot of bad people. So um, I just want to give those guys some props. It's kind of a father-son dealership. Um, again, they're, they're not affiliated with any specific brand. They just you know sell used stuff. They do repairs there uh, as well. But super nice, honest people to deal with. Um, so if you're looking for a vehicle and you're within any kind of distance of, sorry, my arm's getting tired here, and you're within any kind of distance uh, of their dealership, I uh, urge you to go online and see what they have and uh, check them out. Just give them a chance because I don't think you'll be disappointed. So, um, all right, enough commercial there, but it really was worth mentioning. So. You will be getting some videos uh, with this truck in action. I've already used it quite a few times. No big snowfalls or anything like that, but just uh, some de-icing events, um, some like a coating of snow here and there. Really nothing worth uh, videotaping. Be kind of boring, but I'm sure we're going to get another snow event yet. This winter has four months left, really, so you'll get to see this in action and uh, possibly the skid steer too. We may take that, uh, you know, as needed for some additional clearing. So anyway, enough rambling on. If anybody has any questions about the equipment that I bought or uh, suggestions, uh, plowing horror stories, uh, or any good dealerships um, that you've dealt with in the past, um, you know, leave them down in the comments. I'm, I'm interested to know. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video of some of our new stuff. And I will catch everybody on the next video.